we can get on the boat. I hope we're doing the right thing. Emil. Is something troubling you? Emil, come on. <sighs> What's Lloyd Irving doing over there? What? Where? Show yourself, Lloyd. I don't believe the problem is with his hearing. What's wrong with him? I never imagined we would be reunited under these circumstances. And we never expected to find you behind bars again. I know, seriously. I thought for sure you'd be busy issuing orders from Lazareno HQ. In addition to my duties as president, I'm also working as chairman on the board of a startup company. We're hoping to develop this new business mainly in Silverant. I was traveling around to get a feel for the market. Oh, that's right. Even though it's a Tetha Ala based company, Lazareno is popular with Silveranti. The efforts they invested into rebuilding Palma Costa must be playing a big role. Many Tetha Alans continue to treat Silveranti like savages. If my company can help change that way of thinking, it will have served its purpose. But thanks to the conflict with Tetha Ala, half elves aren't persecuted as much as they used to be. Yes. Half-elves have become valued for their knowledge. The overall situation is unfortunate, but perhaps it can also be an opportunity. It looks like we both have a few problems that must be dealt with. But our problem right now is Lloyd. Yes. I wonder what he's up to right now. Boarding for Flanor. What's the matter? You look worried. Um. The boat's about to leave. Well, you see. You're a man. Speak up. All right. I'm still worried about the fire. The light frog could appear again while we're out looking for Lloyd. That would mean the fires won't stop. Yes, that's certainly true. Though the light frog shouldn't produce enough heat to start fires, except under extraordinary circumstances. But the fires in town have been going on for a while, so these extraordinary circumstances must be happening. Perhaps it's another side effect of a dormant centurion's core. As its vulgar human name would suggest, the Light Frog is a light elemental monster. And the core of Centurion of Light is... Oh, right. Lloyd has Lumen's core. Exactly. Therefore, the only way that we can resolve this problem is by finding Lloyd and hatching Lumen's core. Then we must hurry and go after Lloyd. But I'm worried about what'll happen if we just leave the town without doing anything. You said so yourself, Rain. As long as there's a chance, you have to pursue it. So you're saying that you'd like to look for a way to control the Light Frog's incendiary tendencies? Now that we've explained the situation to the people in town, I'm pretty sure things should be fine for a while. How about this? Rain, you and Genus can go on ahead to Flanor and find out what you can about Lloyd. We'll stay here and try to settle this whole light frog conundrum. All right, that should be fine. The ship bound for Flanor is departing. All aboard! Emil, Marta, see you soon. You too, Tenebi. Take care of yourselves. I do hope you'll call me Tenebrae the next time we meet. Rain, thank you. See you later, Genus. Good luck, guys. See ya. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to give this to you, Regal. What is it? <laughs> I guess you could say it's a love letter. Rain? Wow, she's so bold. I better learn from her example. Read it later when you're alone. Don't show it to anyone else. 
I never thought I'd receive such a gift from someone as beautiful as you. I will protect it with my life. This can't be happening. What if Regal becomes my brother-in-law? So first off, shall we check out all the places in town where fire had broken out? Yes. Regal, you seem so... mature. Yeah. You're incredibly polite, kind, and strong, too. We're not all that dissimilar. Our only difference is I've been alive a little longer. You would do well to follow his example, Emile. Um... You're one to talk, Tenebrae. You've been around way longer than Regal, and all you do is nag and complain. Yes, yes, I'm an old fogey, I know. What is it, Marta? Um, so you know that letter Rain gave you? I mean, was it really about... you know? <laughs> I hardly think it would be at all proper to reveal its contents. Rain, like all women, is entitled to keep her secrets private. Private secrets? Like a confession of her love for you? <laughs> I'll leave that to your imagination. Oh my gosh, no, I have to read it! It appears we've seen all the fire sites now. However, none of the locations are places you'd expect to find a light frog. There must be some common thread tying them together. Gels. It's gels. Gels? That's what all the fire sites have in common. Seafood gels. Don't be ridiculous. Who ever heard of a light frog with an appetite for gels? But Emile's right. All of the fires happened in places where seafood gels were being stored. Now see here. I am a centurion. I am an expert on monster behavior. I guess you're right, but... Quit it, Tenebrae. You're only the Centurion of Darkness. What the hell would you know about a light elemental monster like the Light Frog? But... Quiet! It's time to put our theory to the test. Let's go! G go where? To get some seafood gels from Burr. We'll use them to lure the Light Frog out of hiding. So this is the Ratatosk mode that Rain was talking about. Hmm. Suppose I should see how things play out. What? 
You think seafood gels attract the light frog? <laughs> don't be stupid. What do you know? We'll never know if we don't try, so just hand over the damn gels. Jeez, what happened to you? It's like you're a completely different person. Our apologies. I'm afraid he's a bit on edge today. Well, I wouldn't mind giving you some, only all of my seafood gels burned up in the fire. Then please make some more for us. Sure, if you'll bring me the ingredients. What do you need? I'm all out of jellyfish. I need to go to Triot to catch some more. But I won't be heading there anytime soon. After everything that's happened, I need a few days rest. So, what do you want to do? Go and get some jellyfish, of course. Well then, you better take some of this with you. It's the only bait the jellyfish really respond to. something sure what's on your mind i want to know what makes men tick guys are always rejecting me saying i'm annoying or too serious or whatever any man who would say such things is not worthy of your time you are a charming young lady but i cannot claim to be much of a strategist but i have learned that sometimes it may be better to pull back when being assertive doesn't work pull back however if your question has anything to do with a meal then okay i've got it I'll start with the pulling. Cut it out, Marta. Why are you yanking on my arm all of a sudden? Fishing. It's been a while. Do you fish? Yes, every now and then I take the yacht out for marlin fishing. Wow, it must be great being the president of Lazareno. Marta, do you prefer rich guys like Regal? What do you mean? Emil, please. I believe your petty jealousies can wait until after we've caught some jellyfish. No, I didn't... What? I know you're uncomfortable witnessing the first female interested in you complimenting another man. No, you've got it all wrong. That's not what I meant. Emil, do you... Do you have a crush on me? No, I didn't say anything like that. Come on, Tenebrae, cut it out. Yes, yes, understood. That was amazing. Thank you. Hey, Emil. About what you said earlier. Never mind about that. It wasn't anything important at all. Not important at all? Oh, I see. Uh, I'm sorry. was quite a catch. No marlin I've ever caught can compare. It certainly was enormous. For a moment, I believed I might snap in too. Fishing is really more fun than I thought it would be. 
I'd like to try it again sometime. I shall be happy to give you some lessons. Ocean fishing is enjoyable to be sure, but you simply must experience stream fishing. You <laughs> mean it? That would be great. You almost sound like you could be my father, Regal. Your father? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean... Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome to the Old Fogey Club. Tickets! Let's have her predict about our love. Uh, it's not really my thing. Aw, come on. If you want to go, I'll wait for you. Really? I'll go get a ticket then. <sighs> a monster in the middle of town? It appears to be one of Aqua's servants. It's a message from Aqua. Richter wishes to see you. He does? He's at the inn. What will you do? I'd like to see Richter. It'll take a while to get a ticket. Is that okay? Uh, then would you mind if I took a walk around town in the meantime? Not at all. I'll meet you back by the shape of the Chosen, okay? Sure. See me? I heard Aqua asked you to come to Triet. Normally I would never stoop to asking for help from an enemy, but I need your assistance. It must be convenient to have such a flexible philosophy. Shut up, Tenna Bonehead! Master Richter isn't asking you! What do you need me to do? I understand that you found some rosemary inside the Camberto Caves. Uh, yes. I'd like you to take me there. Okay, but why? I'm looking for an insect that lives on the rosemary plant. So you're a bug collector now? Indeed, it is a fascinating hobby. Oh, um... Was a joke. Let's go. Not much of a comedian, is he? <laughs> the last time I was here, the rosemary was all withered. We only managed to find one plant still alive. Is that so? I didn't see any. I'll show you where it was. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry for using you as a guide, even though I insist we're enemies. <gasps> What's with that face? Nothing, it's just... I don't think I've ever heard you apologize before. I suppose that's true. I can't recall apologizing to anyone but you recently. What? I'm just kidding. Wow, I guess you really are perfect. I hope I can be like that someday. I meant that as a joke. There are herbs all over the place. Do you dislike herbs? No, 
I quite enjoy them, actually. Oh, okay then. I'll try to like them too. There's no need to match my taste. There's nothing I despise more than someone with no individuality. Oh, uh, then I'll go on hating herbs. Emil, that's exactly what he's talking about. Oh. What do you intend, leading Emil out here? I just needed someone to show me the way. Emil is not him, you know. I am well aware of that. Are you? I see the hesitation in your eyes when you look at him. Emil is Emil. Yes, that is correct. Hey, don't you train? Not really. I enter Ratatosk mode when I fight, so... Stop depending on that. Fight with your own strength. But I can't. Yes, you can. Learn to defend yourself at a moment's notice. Don't get cocky just because you've got a special power. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, that was too harsh. Look, I'll teach you how to fight, so stop looking so pitiful. Okay, thank you. Emil, food's ready. <laughs> thank you very much. Go ahead and eat it if you can. That sounds pretty ominous. It looks normal enough, though. Let me give it a try. Oh, oh. <laughs> Mom, wait for me. I'll be joining you shortly. <laughs> hmm. I was afraid of that. This is the first time I've ever cooked. I'm really worried. Are you referring to Lady Marta waiting in Triet? Yeah. There were plenty of people waiting to have their fortunes told. We should have time. It's not that. If she gets a bad fortune, I just know she's going to grill the fortune teller with tons of questions. And even if her fortune's good, it's only going to end up encouraging her. <laughs> Seems you've come to know Lady Marta quite well. I've come to know that laugh of yours pretty well, too. It's this deep in? Yes, it's at the far end of the cave. You saw all these dead plants and you still had the resolve to search all the way to the end of the cave. Impressive. Well, I had Marta and everyone with me, so... I see. What's the insect you're looking for? It's called the Angel Atops. I'm looking for its shell. A shell? When the angel atops changes from a larva to an adult, it leaves behind a shell. This shell resembles a crucius angel, so the Church of Martel uses it as a talisman. So why do you need to find it? That doesn't concern you. Of course it concerns me. I'm the one showing you the way, aren't I? Sorry. No, you make a good point. I plan to give the shell to a woman named Phydra in Asalia in exchange for her spiritual apocrypha. Are you getting that for Norton as well? Aqua, what else did you say? F forgive me, Master Richter. My, my, look at the faithful servant now. You! Why don't you take a long walk off a short cliff? Spiteful ten of bonehead! Centurions, that is enough. Emil, I hope you'll stay with me a bit longer. Sure. The spiritual tome and the spiritual apocrypha, do they both have the same kind of stuff written in them? This book is about spiritua. When the world was still split in two, she was the most famous of all the Tetha Alan angels. 
I even heard Spiritua was once the chosen of Silverant. Is it true? I... yes? History is not Emil's strong suit. Hmm. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't study as much as I should have. Well, it's not exactly essential for everyday life. You know a lot about history and all sorts of other stuff. That's really cool. That's all they ever let me do. What do you mean? I mean, forget it. It was meaningless research anyway. This is the place. All right, let's dig here. Right. Thank you. If we hadn't found any rosemary here, I'd be forced to start my search all over again. I guess good fortune comes to good people. Was that sarcasm? <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> you got me there. What? Why are you all so shocked? You laughed. Of course I laugh sometimes. What do you think I am? Master Richter, your laugh is so dreamy. Of course, it's nothing compared to my handsome chortle. I'm about this close to killing you. Anyway, you're taking that to Asalia, right? Yes. I'll go with you. No thanks. Why can't I go? I think I have a right to see this through to the end. Hmm. <laughs> Do as you like. I will. Where does Phydra live? I thought you'd know. Huh? Phydra is the Chosen Colette's grandmother. She lives in the Chosen's old home. Colette's grandmother? Let's go. about the attack on Lewin. You expect me to believe that? The leader of the attack said the name Lloyd Irving himself. You can't deny the fact that our town was attacked by those in the service of the Church of Martell. The Church has to compensate us for our losses. Uncle Abba. Y you Don't run from him. Now there's a real monster. Uh, uh. What? What is it? You want to kill me, do you? No. Who took you in and fed you, boy? <laughs> I didn't come here to see your wretched face. You're nothing but a plague on us all. How can you say such things? Mind your own damn business! Anyway, think about what I said. Silent as usual? I... Don't want to rock the boat, hmm? But if you just shy away every time and never stand up for yourself, nothing will ever change. You're no better than a dog on a leash. I'm not... I'm not a dog! I'm not the one you need to tell that to. 
As long as you waste your time worrying about making others angry, your life will always be this way. If you don't speak up, nothing will change. Then again, if you don't mind being treated like a monster, feel free to ignore me. Richter, not everyone can live the way that you do. Many people in this world must make compromises to get by. Compromises? He's not making compromises with the world, he's rejecting it. Retreating into his shell and playing the victim is what makes him feel safe. But that's not living. It's just wasting away until you die. I see you haven't changed a bit. So, does your visit mean you found the item we discussed? Yes, I brought the angel atop shell. You did indeed. Here is the spiritual apocrypha. I heard that a member of the Vanguard named Hawk has the deep sea scroll you seek. Thanks for the information. I'll take you as far as Triet. Okay. You should be able to find your way back from here. Thanks for your help. Wait! What is it? I, I've always been afraid of my uncle. And I still am. And not just him. Everyone in Lewin, too. That's not my problem. But, from what I could tell, Alba seemed to be afraid of you, too. That was because I used Ratatosk's power back in Lewin. He's feared you long before you ever made your pact with Ratatosk, for as long as you feared him. That's not possible! Uncle Alba's always screaming at me, and... The smaller the dog, the louder the bark. Uncle Alba's... weak? His actions mirror your own. You were afraid and retreated into your shell, so he did the same. You both do what comes easiest, but that won't change anything. I was the same once. You were afraid too? What were you afraid of? Humans. So I avoided and ignored them. But then, someone taught me that nothing would ever change if I stayed that way. Who taught you? Courage is the magic that turns dreams into reality. A friend, a foolish, naive friend with a few screws loose, taught me that. Courage is also what you need to break out of your shell. That's how you got Marta to join you. She opened up to you because you risked your life to protect her. But Marta's so easy to talk to. You think I'm easy to talk to as well? Get yourself together, Emil. You already know exactly what you need to break out of your shell. Courage? That's right. Okay, I guess we shouldn't keep Marta waiting. Let's head back to Triad. I can't wait to hear what fortune she got. <laughs> Don't remind me. Emil, where have you been? I'm sorry. The fortune teller told me some amazing stuff. I've been dying to tell you. What have you been doing? Um, you see... Lady Marta, Emil was concerned about what the fortune teller might predict and found it difficult to return here. Huh? Really? You're such a worrywart. 
but you can relax. The fortune teller said we're a perfect match. Oh, we are? Yes, the fortune teller said that in the near future, you're going to break out of your shell and become a new person. And then the two of us are definitely going to end up together. Isn't that great? Break out of my shell? Yeah, I hope that comes true. I'm so happy that you agree. I didn't know you felt so strongly about us. Huh? What? I didn't mean it like that. Uh, Marta? Are you listening? stubborn okay that was random no not really you have to admit though you've had that same weapon equipped for a pretty long time there's plenty of other weapons why not try something different for a change I guess I like the feel of a weapon I've gotten used to it's easier to fight with it's not stubbornness it's dedication what if you had a favorite pair of shoes you wore every day and I said why not try a different pair and spice up your wardrobe yeah but why stop wearing whatever shoes that make you feel comfortable? Yep, you're stubborn, all right. What's so wrong with being a little stubborn? Nothing. I was just thinking it'll be tough once we're married. That's all. <laughs> uh. Balacroft Mausoleum in the Comberto Caves. I think I was able to bridge the gap between Richter and me a little. I wouldn't be so sure. He did laugh a bit this time. That was a surprise. What sort of person do you think his friend is? You know, the one he talked about? I was a bit shocked to hear he had any friends at all. His friend must have the patience of a saint. <laughs> if I may say so, I believe you're that way as well. No, I don't have any friends. You don't have to rub it in. I meant to say that you have some saint-like qualities yourself. <laughs> I'll never master your confounded human language. Did you manage to catch any jellyfish? Yep, here you go. Looks like you're in a much better mood. Huh? Last time we spoke, you were all stressed out. Oh, I'm sorry. Nah, don't worry about it. Anyway, you want those seafood gels, right? I'll make you some straight away. We'd hate to put you or this place in any danger. As soon as you're done, could you bring them to the harbor? Got it. You can all go on ahead. Though I still find it hard to believe that my seafood gels could actually attract that stupid frog. I hope this works. Don't worry about it. If this doesn't work, we'll just think of something else. Marta's right. Even if we are incorrect and discover that seafood gels are not the cause, that is still progress. Yeah, you're right. I really need to stop being discouraged so easily. You're doing it right now. You've got to stop that. There's nothing wrong with you. You're only worried about what'll happen because you care about the rest of us. And there's nothing wrong with that. Right. The two of you complement each other most impressively. Marta fills in your missing pieces, Emil. <laughs> Hear that? Yeah. Thanks for always looking out for me. Here you go, fresh seafood gels. These look delectable. All right. Now, let's see you prove your silly theory about my gels attracting the light frog. That's 
Six. Don't look directly at the light. You'll pass out. There it is. Wow, it's bigger than I thought. Maybe it mutated. Save your theories for later. Here it comes. Those fires really were because of my seafood gels. Well, it's possible the light frogs are drawn to any type of gel. If you can, I'd recommend the entire town to stop dealing in gels for the time being. You're right. I'll talk it over with everyone. You've done so much for our town. Thanks. Emil, I apologize. It appears you were correct. I would have never believed the Nazdro... <coughs> Sorry, the Light Frog would be interested in seafood gels. No, I'm the one who should apologize. I didn't mean to say all those harsh things. Emil. Well, hopefully this puts an end to all of the tragic frog fires. Perhaps it's time we considered booking passage to Flanor. You're right. Come on, we've got to get those Centurions' course before Lloyd does. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> 